welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a slightly different video for you. So I'm going to do a tutorial on how I groom my eyebrows. So I'm not going to be doing any makeup today. I'm fresh faced and ready to do my brows. It's going to be a quick tutorial today. I'm going to run through how I first of all thread my brows and then how I shape them after. It's super quick and super easy so it's going to be a short tutorial and if you want to know how I <laughs> went from this to actually okay eyebrows, then just keep watching. Okay, so, here we go. So there are three key pieces of equipment that you need when grooming your eyebrows. So this is thread, so this is just a thread that I use. Um, it can be obviously any color, <laughs> just um, string basically. So I use this one, and then I also use this which is actually just um, an old wand from a mascara that I used to own. So when the mascara finished, I just took the wand and cleaned all of the mascara um, off it. And now I use this as my little eyebrow tool. So yeah, that's a good thing. And if you've already got a mascara, then you already have one of these. And then I just use a small pair of scissors as well. Obviously be really careful when using this around your eye because it's not actually a laughing matter. You might cause some real damage. So be really careful when using these. But yeah, these are the three pieces of equipment. Hello, Prisma. But yeah, these are the three pieces of equipment that you, knew, that you need when doing your eyebrows. And of course, you can have some tweezers at the handy at the handy. You can have some tweezers nearby as well because it might just be easier to just grab the last one or two hairs with them at the end. Sorry my table keeps shaking, that's your hi. Sorry about my face in this video. I'm gonna do it makeup free because obviously when um, grooming your eyebrows you need to be able to like see the hairs on your eyelids and if you've got concealer you on silent. If you've got concealer or primer or any sort of eye makeup there then you might actually miss a few hairs if you've done it really well so yeah I do it completely fresh faced. The first thing to do is to grab a piece of thread. It's hard to say exactly how long. I would say I'd go for about 30 centimeters um, and then rip it off. You could use the scissors seeing as you've got them there but I always just use my teeth. And then I just tie a not just a normal like shoelacy kind of knot and I'll do that twice like so and then I tend to work like this so I have the knot at one end just so it doesn't get in the way of me working so then you just have your two fingers on each end and you just twist one end so in the middle you get this crossover and this is the action and that's what's going to rip the hairs out of your face so when you've got this ready, the best thing to do is tie your hair up and make sure that you don't have any hair over your face because I have been known to <laughs> like thread some of my baby hairs from here and it's a bit painful and obviously you don't want to actually get rid of your hair. Well maybe you do but I wouldn't advise threading it. With your thumbs and your first finger you're doing this motion and that's how you're actually going to pull the hairs out. And then you'll just put your um, thread on your face and do the same action. And this time it actually pulls the hairs out. Try and press a bit lightly because you don't want to actually try and thread your skin. You just want to take the hairs lightly off the top of the skin, if that makes sense. And um, this action is really easy once you've got the hang of it. It's just a case of practicing. So yeah, the action that you're doing is this, so you're just pinching each hair. And every time you want to do it, you just put your thread on the face with the um, middle section. I don't know what to call this bit, but this like middle section here. Um, so that's going to be in the direction that you want to thread in. <clears throat> and for me as well, I always thread um, in the opposite way to the way the hairs are growing. So you can actually pull them out. So 
hence why um, I'm going from right to left on this eyebrow and on this eyebrow I'll be going from left to right so I'll be going like this along the eyebrow so like that to pull the hairs out and in the middle section you can do whichever way you feel more comfortable with so I actually feel more comfortable going from left to right because I'm right um, right to left because I'm right handed so I just go right to left in that middle section anyway and when I say left and right I'm talking about my left and right so it will be different for you watching the video <laughs> but think of it in terms of your left and right I'm not going to lie and say it's not a little bit painful <laughs> I've been doing it for ages and I still need a minute so for my left eyebrow, because obviously my hairs go from right to left, I am threading from left to right. So that means making sure the middle section is on the left. And then when I get onto my skin, I'm going to push the thread to the right and it's going to pull the hairs out. When I'm finished with the threading and I'm happy with the shape, then I'm just going to swap to the tweezers and just get any other hairs that um, I didn't manage to get with the threading. But this will literally be like... A couple of hairs because otherwise I will just continue threading. I'm going to pick up my next two tools so it's a small pair of scissors and the used to be eye mascara wand and it's now my eyebrow brush. I'm going to brush through the hairs from the root up to the tip, brush them all out when I can see the hairs that are a bit longer than all the rest so then I'm going to grab the hairs in the brush so go to the root of the hair, twist the eyebrow one so that they're all standing on their edges and then I would just snip in a straight line to the size that I'm happy with and I'll do that all the way along my eyebrow So as you can see I'm starting from the tip, I'm twisting my brush so that it grabs each of the eyebrow hairs and really pulls them upwards and I can see the length and I want to make sure that that edge of all of my eyebrow hairs is completely um, straight and in line with each other. So that is how I grew my brows, it's pretty quick and easy and it's not totally pain free. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and easy to follow. If you did find this tutorial helpful please subscribe to my channel and leave a comment down below. For now, that's it. See you in my next video.